welcome to Loose Change with me, Matthew Mills, here to inform, educate and entertain you about your money. And we've been doing a series of these looking at the kind of indices and institutions you might look at to get information to help you look forward to where the world is going economically and how you might manage your investments. Um, now, one of the indices that people often look at is at the end of the news, they show you what the FTSE has been doing. Um, an index which is probably far more important to have a look at is the bond index. This is where companies and institutions and governments, in fact, loan money to each other. It's far bigger than the stock market and far more influential. And this is the bit where the money comes from to buy and sell sh uh, shares anyway. Now, the index you might particularly want to look at is the five or ten year gilt index. Now, gilt is a loan to the British government and the five and ten year indices, indices, they tell you what kind of rate of interest the British government will be charging people on its loans in the future, or where the market thinks that's going to be. Why is that important? Well, first and foremost is the British government is the only government in the world which has never defaulted on a debt. Fantastic. Proud of you. Um, uh, the other thing is that because they've never defaulted on a debt, this is what's called the risk-free rate of return. So if you invested in a 10-year gilt that was giving you a return of 5%, there's no risk of you losing that money whatsoever. That then becomes important because the, 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 the gilt forecasts tell you where the market thinks the gilt rate is going to be. And if you could make 5 or 10% on a gilt in the future, why would you take the risk of making about 11% on average from stock markets where you can make pretty much the same with no risk whatsoever? The other thing it tells you is to give you an, an idea of where inflation is going, where prices are likely to be. And the reason for that is that the guilt rate reflects what the Bank of England is going to charge on interest, and interest rates go up when we think that prices rise to hit you in the back pocket with the cost of your loans to restrain spending and bring us down. So if the guilt rate goes up, we anticipate there's going to be inflation, prices will be going up. Uh, um, uh, and uh, the Bank of England is likely to raise interest rates. There are lots of really interesting things that you can gather about where the markets are likely to go and how different institutions are likely to behave in an economy by looking at the five and ten year gilt rate in the bond market rather than simply looking at the foot, which really shows you what's happened rather than where you're going to go. So, a little bit complicated, but again, go and have a chat with Mr. Google about that. Really useful to have a look at along with the other indices that we've talked about. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.